So as I am scrambling together what is left of my mental health and trying really hard to fix it, I get hit by a curveball that comes out of nowhere. Because yesterday evening have I been informed that the Dutch cabinet has fallen. At the time I did not really let it sink in because I was busy with other stuff, but this morning am I collecting data and trying to piece together what happened, because I feel that this is video worthy. Now this won't be an overview of Dutch politics as a whole, that will only come when the elections get properly announced, but I think it's a good idea to make a short video to explain what happened and why we need to go back to the voting box after only like one and a half years. I think a good starting point is to explain the current cabinet. The current ruling coalition of the Netherlands is Rutte Vier, a coalition government consisting of the VVD, or New Liberals, CDA, Christian Democrats, CU, Conservative Christians, and D66, Progressive Liberals, sort of. This coalition is led by VVD Prime Minister and enemy of the show, Mark Rutte. This was the same coalition as the cabinet before, called Rutte Tree, which also fell before its time was up, though admittedly that one had more time before it fell. Rutte 4 is the result of some really contentious elections and some negotiations that legit almost took a year, so it was very clear that this was not going to be a very popular coalition. This coalition so far is mostly known for scandals and messing up responses to things like the nitrogen crisis, but the thing that broke the camel's back this time was, surprise surprise, a refugee crisis. The Dutch refugee policy has always been pretty bad and inconsistent, with refugees often put in what I can only describe as concentration camps, and the rules constantly changing about who is or who is not allowed to enter the country. Last week there was a debate and discussion between the coalition members about a certain implementation of a plan that would categorize refugees fleeing the war in two categories. An A category was meant for people who had fled their country and would run the risk of being prosecuted in their country of origin, while a B category was meant for other war refugees. The VVD wanted to make it harder for people from category B to stay in the Netherlands for extended periods of time, and also curtail their rights to bring their families over. This was something that D66 and the CU were very much against. Throughout the week there were several debates and discussions, but no common ground could be found and this led to the fall of the cabinet yesterday evening. Now, there are some odd things to note about this situation. First off, according to preliminary news reports, is this mostly the result of the VVD, and specifically Prime Minister Mark Rutte, really putting on pressure to push their plans through. This is somewhat odd, because they're not usually this thorough in doing things like this. This has led to some speculation among the Dutch shitposting left, and I mean genuine left, not liberals, that this is something the VVD is doing deliberately, so that they can easily can get re-elected in the short term, which might not be the case in the long term. I think that this is possible, but I cannot prove anything, so this is just pure speculation on our part. Basically, source, dude, trust me. I will let you draw your own conclusions on that. Another thing that is interesting to note is that CU, the conservative Christians, are the ones who, together with D66, were pushing back against this plan. This is odd because this does not fit their usual behavior. The stated reason for pushing back against this is because they consider the family to be the cornerstone of society, and to tear those apart, which is what this plan would do, would be a breach of their values. If this is true, then that would make them one of the more principled of the parties in Dutch politics right now. I want to believe that it is true, but they're still a political party, so I trust them about as far as I can throw them. With that said, I have been told that they've been strangely been moving more to the left, so who knows what's happening internally there. Overall, the responses to this fall have been really mixed so far. A lot of the more left-wing opposition parties and the far right have been pretty happy with it. They are probably seeing a chance to gain more power, though if I'm honest, I doubt it will work out the way that they want. The coalition parties are understandably very frustrated with the state of affairs. According to them was this fall unnecessary and as Rutte and the VVD put them on the pointless pressure, trade unions and environmental organizations have mostly reacted with frustration because this fall means more and more delays of things that they are struggling with that need to be addressed now ASAP. Reactionary farmers organizations are obviously quite happy with this because it means that they can prolong their own culture war bullshit and uh, pollute for longer. What do I think? There is a part of me that is somewhat frustrated, because again, this puts the entire country into deadlock, and it might be a year or so before we actually get to see a new cabinet. Possibly even longer. 
I am also frustrated about the fact that the thing that caused the fall was just some of the disgusting plans being put forward in regards to refugees. I've always been opposed to our dehumanizing refugee policies and I hate how these parties are playing with people's lives like this. I also don't think that any of the opposition parties will have a lot to gain from this. The only exception to this might be BBB, the Farmers Party, who did very well in the provincial elections earlier this year. Though I feel that they may, might end up getting less than they bargained for as well, since they were basically very difficult to work with and, in, and inexperienced, leading to them being excluded from a lot of provincial coalitions. So what happens now? We will probably get new elections at some point, but not anytime soon. The Electoral Commission, aka the people who organize in elections, are expecting the elections to be in November at its earliest, so that's still quite a ways off. I will be making a more comprehensive video on Dutch politics with an overview of all the political parties when election season starts, as a follow up to this. I am gonna be honest though, I do not have a lot of hope for change. We have been in this neoliberal malaise of the VVD since 2010 and they, have, and they have a strong enough base of entrepreneurs and white middle class people to sustain themselves. I think Rutte 5 is very likely. With that said, nothing is impossible of course and we will see how it will go. It is true that a lot of the bigger political parties have been losing a lot of support in the last few years and we have seen more and more smaller parties pop up to fill up some of the gaps. Right now however is it too early to tell where we will go so I will withhold some of my predictions till later. Anyway, that's it for me, I think. See ya!